This Sunday marks Holocaust Remembrance Day, and the Holocaust Museum here in L.A. is hosting a commemoration to honor survivors, remember those who died, and stand up against anti-Semitism and hate. NBC4's Gordon Tokumatsu talked to a Holocaust survivor leading up to this weekend. Mary Bauer calls it Red Cheek Syndrome. She and fellow inmates at Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp would pinch the skin on their faces every morning as they were inspected by the Nazis. It made their cheeks look rosier. We were destined to die if we were not fit to work anymore. So you needed to look healthy. Exactly, and we did this constantly. She also showed us the tattoo still visible on her left wrist, a lesson in and of itself, she says, of how the Nazis dehumanized Jews, treating them only as numbers. There's something crucial about hearing a person's perspective. Jordana Gessler of L.A.'s Holocaust Museum says Mary is one of more than 90 survivors whose personal testimonials have now been preserved. Details from the people themselves, not just textbooks. You then become a witness to what they experience, and it helps create a personal connection with history. The museum calls it the Wisdom Project, recently launched here in time for Holocaust Remembrance Day, May 5th. Mary's story begins with photos of her idyllic childhood in Hungary, playing with her cousin, posing with her mother and a family pet. But it all changed so suddenly and tragically. As the Americans landed and the Nazis realized they were losing the war, nearly half a million Hungarian Jews, including Mary and her family, were rounded up, deported to camps and certain death. She remembers clearly what fellow inmates told her when she was just a teenager. If you survive, if you get out of here, make it sure that the world knows what's going on here. Eighty years later, Mary fears what hatred and intolerance for other cultures and religions is reigniting, but not in Europe this time. Right now, I am very uncomfortable in my America. She wants her story to remind the world that we are all potential victims, because the Holocaust is not just a Jewish story, it's a human one. In West L.A., Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.